Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're taking the Bronco off-road for the first time. So when Ford gave me these two uh, Broncos, it was with the intent to uh, get to know the vehicle inside out and to have a platform to explore the trails that um, were meant for the uh, event. So they wanted water fording, they wanted a sway by disconnect demonstration, they wanted a winching spot, um, some maybe some high speed stuff for the, for the Raptor. Uh, and so this video will we'll take you along as we do the first uh, scouting mission uh, with the um, Badlands Bronco, as well as uh, go over some of the features that it has. But this is by no means a vehicle review on the Bronco. See what a great example um, of the front camera I use, because I, I can't see anything, but then here I can see Stephanie's laying down on the ground. And there she is. Can't see her. There she is. Ford also tasked us to capture b-roll and video footage as well as pictures of the Bronco so that uh, they could offer this footage to the media outlets to use uh, um, post uh, event so that they can uh, have more selection for their, um, for their reviews. Well, we took a trip down to Martinhead to um, potentially use that as a location for the media event. Uh, we determined it was too far out of the way from all the other sites and locations to be um, an effective uh, use of our time uh, for once the event actually happens. So instead, we uh, headed back down south on along the Fundy Coast and scoped out a few locations for potentially high-speed sections for the Raptors. Um, and also, we wanted to show how the uh, stab bar disconnect, which is uh, the Jeep and the Jeep World called the Spay Bar, the stab bar disconnect uh, on, of the Bronco, which is a really good system, and I think it's superior to the Jeep, um, is it can uh, disconnect under load and um, disconnect and reconnect under load. And this is actually really, really cool. I mean, typically, the way you would use it is you would uh, disconnect before you go on the trail and reconnect once you're done with the trail. However, if you do forget, you can just do mid uh, suspension um, travel, hit the button and you disconnect. Uh, and you will see this uh, coming up here in this little section. Ready? Yep. And 
To provide you guys a little bit more background information on this particular Bronco, this is a Cactus Gray uh, 2021 uh, Badlands. So that is the fully loaded, essentially the, the Rubicon version of the Broncos. Um, the uh, the one step down the wild track, which is the other one that we have, it does not have the Spiber disconnect, so it does not have this feature, which is a bit of a shame because it is uh, quite handy and the difference is quite significant that uh, makes in the articulation and then ride comfort overall. Now having found a trail that afforded us the ability to uh, demonstrate the sway bar disconnect in, in action uh, in a very in a perfect location actually, uh, we will now continue to push forward to find a spot along the same trail where we could uh, conduct a winch demonstration so we have sufficient area for people to observe and also area to get uh, somewhat naturally stuck in a critical scenario that could be realistic for the media to observe. Coming up in future episodes, we're going to take uh, Steph's brand new Rubicon, as well as this uh, Bronco, onto uh, Cape Spencer. And we're going to take a Raptor out and uh, take some uh, shots and footage and uh, jump it. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe to the channel.